So just a little bit of uh, introduction here. Uh, when Margie and I were picking the topic for today, one of the things that both of her and I have encountered is some confusion over the comments like obligatory material ledger in S4 HANA and how does COPA change. And so we thought what we'd do is give you uh, an overview today and try to just place material ledger and COPA in the realm of S4 HANA. So one of the things that we'll talk about is the simplified data model, which actually um, allows the technical side of HANA to work. Um, also, we'll talk about what does material ledger actually do and what pieces are obligatory. Uh, then Margie's going to step in and she's going to talk about account-based COPA and what's so nice about the new COPA features and the changes that have happened. And then also talk about how, is, how does COPA work with margin analysis. Um, historically, a lot of people have used, uh, only looked at COPA if they were a manufacturing operation. Now, basically, SAP says, it's so nice, everybody should use it. So Margie's going to give you some, some benefits of how uh, COPA helps with your profitability analysis. So first of all, we're going to look at the simplified data model. So you might have heard this term before, and what does that mean? We'll talk about the actually the three pieces of material ledger. A lot of people think of material ledger as actual costing. Well, there's actually three different things there. And then why did SAP make it mandatory? 